is up my beautiful people welcome back to a new video i'm your girl adri montanez if you're new here welcome to my channel i've been seeing some y'all be viewing my videos but like y'all ain't subscribing i need you to subscribe <laughs> i have so much content it's annoying i don't even know how i'm gonna edit it all but we're gonna do it so vlogmas day seven today I, this should have been vlogmas one but it's okay we a hot mess and that's just what it is. I'm a hot mess. So today I thought I'd show you a little bit of my overall, my Christmas decor, and I thought I'd show you my full garage gym. It does come in handy for days like today because today, I don't even know what day it is. December 11th? Yeah, we're a little behind. My son got like a dry cough and I'm one of those people, if he's not feeling well, whatever the case is, we stay home. So I'm working out from home. So I thought I'd show you a little bit of how I do it, my setup, and then too, I do have some other content. I'll show you some quick workouts. I also do have some great menstrual stretches that have really helped me for any of my women with irregular periods. That'll be coming soon. So I thought today would be a super lax video, show you a little bit of my Christmas decor. Malia's little dog cage is decorated and just go from there. I am gonna be doing a lot of filming and editing today, so I'm sorry I look kind of crazy, but you know, not much sleep. I have a very needy child, so we're just gonna go with it, all right? So if you wanna get into today's video, keep watching. All right, so let's start with the tree. I changed the lighting so you can kind of see. You can actually change it. Um, this tree I think we got on Amazon or Home Depot. I wanna say we got this at Home Depot. I like the color changing. I like the fact that the lights are already on the trees. It makes it so much easier. So this is how I have it right now so you can kind of see the whole deal. You can leave it all in white. You can leave it all in blue. It's really up to you. Wow, did that really just rhyme? <laughs> but anyway, so this is my ornaments. My girlfriend recently came over and look at this. I love El Dia de los Muertos and I love elephants. And she already knows we both really wanna go to Thailand. That is like our, our next journey. So I haven't fully started wrapping gifts. I do have some. And then this is my little, my little bootleg decor. I found these seriously in downtown LA for like $6. So when the tree fills up, I'd like to put those for just my aesthetic pleasure, you know? That's just what it is. And then also too down here I have a train. This train is super old, but it's been with us since my son was a baby. So we do turn on the train. And um, this is when you know, like I'm Mexican. Like we still got candy here. Like, <laughs> like it is still chilling here. But my husband's like, maybe we can put it in something. I was like, I don't know. It's literally, it's, it's Halloween candy with candy canes. But you know, I'm a ratchet mom, so it's cool. And then I have this, this is super old, but it's a little old piece of like, you know, it's like an old little, it's a, it's a suede present, of course, for decor. And then I got this bow like at the Dollar Tree before it was $1.25. So I have this right here. And then this too, I bought last year. I got this when my son really liked it. And you know what? I'm just at a place too. Like he's six years old. He just absolutely loves Christmas. So like I let him decorate and I'm going to show you guys what he decorated too. So, but this is my tree. I got my little, I got my bodyguards. They're falling apart, but you know what? They are still trucking and ducking. And then this sign I got at Michael's a few years ago. So, and again, my son, he gets to move it every day. It just, it's exciting to him. It's like, oh, 15 more days till Christmas or whatever the case is. And then I just decorated my, I bought this garland. I think I got it at Michael's last year. So I bought two of them on Clarence because I'm a Clarence type of female. Let's go to the fun part. Hi, Momush. So it is cold outside, you guys. Um, which, by the way, I'm gonna go in the garage right now, but I have my jacket on. I know she she will not go outside though, so which is fine. She's a house dog, anyways, so she's just be a little extra on camera. But what I did was I put some garland, I streamed it with some white lights, and then I bought her this tree. I thought it was super cute. Look at that. Yeah, she has her own little Christmas dress, y'all. Just stay tuned. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm probably going to post her probably in the next like week or so because we're doing family photos this week. Uh, but yeah, this is an old decor piece I got from Costco and my son decorated all this. All these little plushies, they all like dance, light up, whatever. And like they've been with me since he was a baby. This is probably the most legit Santa because like, you know, everything's racist nowadays. You know, you got black Santas, brown Santas, Chinese Santas, I mean, which is fine. I mean, shit. I mean, you know, I got me a little, I got me a little classic Santa. I thought he was real cute. Reminds me of the one I grew up with as a kid. So my son decorated this. It's a little messy, but it's okay. But I let him. I just, like I said, I'm really super like, I'm not one of those moms that's like, oh my gosh, like don't touch it. Like, no, I let him decorate it however he wants. This is what makes him happy, you know, and he's only little once. So this is pretty much where I'm at, so. 
I bought this Jesus is the reason for the season at a thrift store and I thought it was super cute. And this is the most hilarious, awesome piece. And if you know this, y'all remember Robinson's May? Mm-hmm. That's where he's from. Girl, you really got stuff from Robinson's May? No, I bought it at a thrift store. Oh, does the tag off? Oh my husband. Oh no, no, it's right here. Look at Robinson's May. <laughs> I bought him at a thrift store and I'm like, you are coming home with me, bro. You are coming home with me. That really takes me back to like when I was a kid, like literally. I remember too, like just like after Thanksgiving, you know, you go shopping, like the way it was, or like the first hundred people, you get like a snow globe or whatever. That just, it reminds me of like my grandfather and like my mom and me, like we would just, you know, or they'd go shopping and we stayed back. So I just, I saw that, I was like, you're gonna come home with me. My husband's like, He's missing a stash. And I'm just like, you know what? He's He's been through the trenches. He is coming home with me. We have Elf on a shelf. This is where he's at today. He's hanging on Malachi's stocking. <laughs> Zippy, what you doing? Tripping, bro. And then I just have a couple pillows. I found this one. All is calm, all is right. It's a little bit of a mess. I bought the Moss Lodge, which is obviously Robert's. And then I have Lords the Newborn King. I bought these all in clearance last year, so. Yeah, but this is a little bit of my vibe. This is what Christmas is looking like in my house. Super cozy. Oh, and then lastly, I bought this a couple years ago. So I just line it up here on top of my kitchen. It looks so nice, you guys, at night. We have the heater on. I turn the lights on. And it's just, it's just super cozy. It's just a super vibe. I love the vibe in here, so. Let me show you what I'm gonna be working out today. Ta-da! We are in the garage gym. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you the whole gym, so I'm just gonna show you pretty much what we have, what it is, and what I'm probably gonna do in here later. I will film a workout in here, and you'll probably see it in my vlogmas, but, and like maybe like what I eat after, but yeah, you'll see. So anyways, um, don't mind this box right here. This is actually gonna go to one of my girlfriends. I connected with somebody from high school. She just got out of a really abusive relationship. And she really likes the stuff that I post like on my Insta story. So I have some extra like leggings and purses in here. I'm actually going to ship these to her. She just has no idea yet. I'm just trying to get her address without sounding like creepy. But anyways, so first things first is the treadmill. The treadmill, this is really old you guys, but it still does the job. It does a full incline. Obviously, I don't use the features when it's like connect all of it, you know, like your headphones or whatever. You can actually collect your headphones, connect your headphones and you can still get music out of here but it's so old and raggedy like i just don't do that and then of course we have a weight vest if you are new here i'm really big with weight vests if you're just starting your weight loss journey or you're trying to get fit this is going to be your best friend it's going to be a love and hate relationship don't think you have to do much literally i would wear this and go walking and then back here it's a little messy you guys i apologize it's because we still have stuff in here to take back from to my storage for christmas but we have the tire i absolutely love the tire um i wasn't wait till after christmas and i do want to put I wanted to get some new mats, but <clears throat> I won't wait till after Christmas until all this is calmed down. You know what I mean? Just, yeah. I have these blankets over here. This is pretty much for people that are homeless. I need to get them washed. So especially in California is the homeless. So something that Robert and I always do, it's not just because it's Christmas time. We'd like to do care packages. We give people water, but we notice like they don't even ask us for money. You know, they, they ask for blankets. So my girlfriend gave me those. Um, I have a few more people that are donating for blankets. So I usually like to wash them at the laundromat and then if we see anybody, and there's been times like my husband and I will be coming back late somewhere from a family function or just visiting somebody and we'll see somebody like laying on the street. I'll go and cover them and they will not flinch. So I feel like God will guide me to who needs them. So I don't have a lot, but you know, something's better than nothing. Then we have this little bench. Of course, it adjusts. You could actually do shoulder press. You could do flat dumbbell press, whatever. You could even do actual elevated um like sit-ups i actually i actually like this thing where literally i'll just lean back and you can drop this way more so you can actually work on your core all on your own i like to go all the way flat this actually dips at a decline and i'll do like a full a core workout you know and i, I would do this even with the weight vest so you just whatever you want but i love this thing this thing is so old but it's been so good to us it's still in great condition so yeah we bought this piece this is actually from big five this was only 85 dollars. i really like this so like i said working on core i actually need to get a different resistant band this one's really really old it really just doesn't do justice but i need a thick one i am working on my pull-ups so at least i could hang right here and practice obviously you can go wide or inner whatever's good for you so and then two we have a mirror here we didn't finish it 
But I told my husband, I was like, we need to finish it in the next couple months. It was really inexpensive. We bought it at Home Depot. I mean, it, it was so easy to put on. So I want to finish the mirror and maybe like redo the flags. You guys, I love America. I also do have a, a punching bag, but we don't have anywhere to hang it at the moment. I do, I am looking for an extra piece where I could just hang it. But again, I want to wait till after the holidays. And then we got this dude. I like this guy. I mean, he's so easy to beat up. It literally is shaped like a person. You want to fight with it, hit it, kick it. It's pretty rad. So, and then we have these mats. We went to Five and Below, and I'm just like, they have these here? So I bought more, because originally we had just those dark ones. So now we have these. This is probably my favorite part of the whole place. So we have the full squat bar. It's a standard 45 bar. Absolutely love it. We have the clasp. I even have some too that I carry to the gym. This just got fixed recently too. Um, it actually got remounted, but it is in great condition. I personally love this bench because I love the fact that you can actually work on bicep curls right here. You could rep it and change out your exercises versus moving the benches. Um, you can squat. You can do whatever you need over here. There's times that I feel kind of lazy, and but I want to do Bulgarians. I will put... Actually, let me show you. I do have a gym fit on, but it is super cold in here. I'm probably going to wear a sweater later. But if I want to do Bulgarians and say, like, I'm kind of lazy or if I'm tired, I'll just put my foot up on this. Obviously, I'll move this bar. Have the weight, you know. And when you're doing Bulgarians, you want to... You can have them both. You can have them out like this, or you can have just one inside. I personally like the contraction when I have one Bulgarian and I'm just going down like this. And also too, it depends what you're working. For me, I'm more of a quad focus. So quad focus, you wanna stay straight. If you're working your glutes, you wanna go a little more to the side and squeeze those cheeks. So anyways, I do love this. You can adjust it to whatever height is you're liking. Sometimes I feel like benching, it really just depends. So this is just a great staple piece. I'm just so grateful that we have it. We always hang some random hats here. Sometimes I put like hair class because look at me. And then let me finish and show you guys the rest right here. Like I showed you earlier, the flags. This is really a beautiful flag. So rest in peace, my Uncle Dickie. This is actual, this was his last flag that he had in front of his house. He served in the Vietnam War. Um, that flag actually is going to go outside. I'm just going to keep it here until whenever we do leave this house. And I want to put it up. But this flag is very, very um, sensitive to me. There's times that I, ooh, don't cry, ooh, ooh, don't cry, Adri. <laughs> but there's just times that I could feel like at my weakest and I'll just, or just really just not in a great safe space and I will just go and kiss this flag because it means so much to me. Um, excuse me, I'm sorry for getting vulnerable right now. Then we have the pull down cable. So clearly you want to connect these and you literally, let me show you. How much you could just connect these. You just connect these together. Connect them together, and then you can adjust it to the weighting that you like. So you could do actual, we have the bar right here, you can pull down. If you want to do your back, you want to go more narrow, you can pull down this way, do the narrow. You, If you want, you can actually just do your triceps. You can actually, sometimes I like to just stand, um, I'll move this whole bench because it's adjustable, and you can just work with your triceps. There's so many universal pieces to this. It's old, but it really, really does the job. We don't have a lot of dumbbells. And that's something I do want to get eventually, um, especially with everything that happened during COVID. You know, everybody was at home, so people were buying a lot of gym stuff. But I tell people, go to yard sales. Oh, sorry, the frame was kind of awkward, you guys. So, yeah. And then these are the plates we have. We do want to get some coated ones. Robert's like, what do you want for your birthday next month? I'm like, I want coated plates. So, um, I've seen them at Walmart, too. But I want to get, like, I want to get some 45s. I want to get some 25s, some 10s. I just love the coated plates because you literally could just drop them. We don't have many dumbbells, but we also do, we actually can go heavier. These are super old school, you guys. Like, look at, they're like heavy metal. Like, they're heavy, and you could adjust the weight till you want. So if I'm doing heavier on chest, I'll adjust them and make them 35s, whatever the case is. So they do go heavier. Um, I don't remember how much weight we go up to, but we have weight in here. So I, I could actually get a decent chest workout in here. We have the 20s. And then, of course, we got some for our little one when he works out with us. We got him these little uh, two-pounders. So I got these at five and below. And we have the 15s, 10s. These are 7, 20. And then, again, we have to just adjust the rest. I do have some random bands in there also. This is an old medicine ball, but it still does the job. Now, I wish I could put this together right now, but I don't know how to do it. I usually have my husband do it. But you can connect this piece right here to right here, and you can do your quads. Really bad angle, I'm sorry. But anyways, this piece can come right here. You literally can sit here, it's elevated, and you actually can contract and work your quads. So again, like I said, it's it's really great. Sometimes if I just want to get the main um, 
if I want to get the main like calisthenics or certain exercises like I could do here if I want to do like Roman you know Roman deadlifts if I want to do RDLs or whatever I actually can get a good portion of my workout done here so like the leg curl machine the leg extensions or whatever the case is I want to use more of at the gym this way it utilizes less time so today I do train legs so I'm actually gonna film some of the calisthenics that I do do in the garage so I want to go to the gym later since I am gonna go around 3 30 uh, I don't have to like worry about that eat me rush because a lot of my main work's already gonna be done. And I bought these kettlebells. I really like them. They were really inexpensive. I got these at TJ Maxx right when they started opening up the stores again after COVID. I love them. I think I have 25, 15, and I have tens. I have a five in here. I also have ankle weights. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Like if you really think about it, you can get a great workout in here. You know, if you really think about it, you guys, you guys can get a great workout in here too. Plus I have jump ropes. That's been a really, really big, that's been a big thing for me. Mountain climbers, jump rope. I've been doing a little more CrossFit. You know, you don't have to worry about doing any type of crazy eagle lifting, like just using your own body weight, old school, and then incorporating new exercises. You guys, you guys can really rebuild and transform your body. It's just a matter of being consistent. I think it's the hardest time. And I'm going to be really honest with you, staying consistent through the winter is so hard, but this is the first time I've been around certain people that are just so motivated, especially like in my gym and these, some of these men around me, like they really like hype me up, you know, it's just, it's different from the people that I would chill with on my regular, like that I thought were friends. But again, we can talk about that later, but I just want to give you an overview. This is my garage gym. Hopefully you guys liked it. Um, it's definitely a. Uh, it's definitely been my sanctuary. It was a great place to start, especially like after I had a baby and going to postpartum. Or even sometimes like I, had, I meet sometimes a girl and she's just like, I'm not confident doing certain exercises. And that's okay because, you know, you, you get it. I feel like we all can be our biggest critic and we just get in our head just like, are we doing it right? Or you get self-conscious. And I've been telling people to like, film yourself. Film yourself. I, I think it's great to film yourself and you can actually see your progress. People are always going to judge on here. There's always going to be a critic and somebody out there bigger and better. But you know what? You just kind of have to block that out and do it because you just don't know what blessings can come out of it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, my Christmas decor, my garage gym, and I will catch you on the next one.